actor Jack Conway and cinema star Robert Taylor are off on a 7,000-mile jaunt from Hollywood to Oxford, England. In England, Conway will direct scenes in their traditional setting for the new picture, A Yank at Oxford. Their cross-country trip and ocean voyage nears its end. The two arrive at Southampton and are given a royal reception by our cousins across the sea. And now, on to Oxford. In the summer of 1937, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer expands its filmmaking empire to Britain and MGM British Studios is born. There, American directors will turn out films set in England featuring British talent and Hollywood stars. A Yank at Oxford is the studio's first effort and features Robert Taylor, Maureen O'Sullivan and an English favourite, Vivian Lee. I beg your pardon. What? Well, hello. You haven't taken over the shop by any chance. No, but I might if you're going to be a steady customer. Well, you make it sound very tempting. Do you know anything about flat tires? Well, I should. I've met enough of them in the last few days. Oh, that's good. Well, I'll be darned. The woman understands English. I'll bet you know what it means to fling woo, don't you? Well, uh, oh, I think I do. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Americans. Oh, really? Well, on behalf of myself and my fellow Americans, let's have a look at that tire. Speaking for Great Britain, I'd be most grateful. Yeah, they were crazy about uh, Robert Taylor. Oh, he was a big hit then. Called Robert Tyler. Robert Tyler. And uh, we, had a, we had a house near the studio. And, you know, the, they'd ride their bicycles up and down looking for Robert Tyler. Oh, Robert Tyler, come on out. <laughs> oh, he was a big hit then. <laughs> 